I'm just wearing banana boat sunblock mixed with some rosehip oil and that's it and I like the way it's making my skin look because I swear like once you at least for me once I hit like over 40 wearing a bunch of like makeup and concealer it's just like look you get what you get I do have really dark circles under my eyes, but, um, <clears throat> so I've been using the LED treatment lately, and the thing about that is, it's, um, it's one of those things where you don't really know if it works or not, but I was cleaning up my closet, I'm gonna show you guys, oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my cubby system after this, so I was cleaning up my closet, and I found this LED light that I spent, like, $400 on about six years ago. And when I went to the website and looked it up, it's actually been discontinued and they have a new version of it, which is like fancier. It's on a better stand because the stand does look pretty bad. So this light is on automatic timer. It's set for 15 minutes and it automatically shuts off after 15 minutes. And my goal is to do one session a day for 30 days and to see if I notice any difference. I, yeah, I want to start using it again. So I've been doing it like two days in a row. 15 minutes a pop but I forgot to do it yesterday actually I didn't forget to do it it's just like I had so much on my plate you know I'm so overwhelmed I got this baby who's super colicky and that's really the reason why I'm going to the grocery store I'm trying to get some I'm gonna try to cut off cut out dairy for two weeks to see if that works I, and I, I have like no discipline when it comes to food and I love dairy so I'm trying to get some vegan alternatives so that's the goal we'll see if I can actually do it and um, so I'm going to Trader Joe's to get some like <gasps> vegan cheese, cashew milk, all the boring stuff. Because really, I just put cream in my coffee. I like cheese. Yeah, those are the only two dairy I eat all day. I don't even eat them. Oh, and yogurt, vegan yogurt. So I need to get three vegan things. I'm going to see if that helps with his gas. Um, but right now, I'm going to go to the Korean market because I like, I like their cuts of meat. They have really, really thin cuts of meat and stuff. Um, and I have a really good way to marinate meat and make it super tender. And it's like when my husband goes to the grocery store, he never gets meat. Like, what the heck? He eats most of the meat, but he forgets how to make it. It's like you, I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. I'm kind of like irritated with him right now. It's like I love him to death, but he like cuts me off. And when I'm telling him something, he acts uninterested and will like start to talk to someone else in the house. But, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, I feel like punching him in the face. <laughs> Anyways, um, what else? My son got MVP of, um, uh-oh, his phone is really shaky. My son got MVP, let me try to rest it. He got MVP for a quarterback. That's exciting. Okay, the phone is shaky, so I'm going to continue the vlog and show you what I got in a minute. He's probably going to start crying, but I'm going to show you some of the items that I got. Uh, I spent $163 at Trader Joe's. And uh, my daughter, who likes to heat food up in a the thermos, or actually heat food up in the microwave, put it in the thermos to bring it for school lunch. I'm going to show you. I got her a bunch of frozen stuff. So farfalle with four cheese and spinach, pizzas, vegetable pad thai, mac and cheese, butter chicken, which is pretty good. I got two of those. And then my other son, Dylan, likes uh, macaroni and cheese. I got half and half, garlic naan, mango mochi, vegetable and chipotle quesadillas beef tamales now i did go to culinary school and i do cook home cooked meals every day but it's nice to have something easy then i got some peeled garlic turkey breast two packs of pot stickers some chocolate brooklyn chocolate babka which is really good and then i got almond danish like a bear claw and i got some ghost pepper potato chips some pesto and some cheese spread. Then I got my daughter a five spice Asian style noodle salad. Then I got two things of farfalle, some kettle corn, some arugula, some, um, this is cod or sole, some Dover sole, which is a really good white fish. Then I got some ciabatta. I got some 
vegan cheese because I'm going to try to cut down on dairy to help with my son's gas. I got some vegan butter. Then I got a bunch of beers to try. Tiki rum, Mai Tai, Pilsner, and a boat swing. And then I got some orange peach, mango juice, some country peach, some milk, some banana bread mix, some more um, lavage bread because for school lunch you couldn't spread it with cream cheese, some fig jelly, and some arugula, and some lunch meat, some sliced tomatoes, and you roll it up like a pinwheel. It's really good. Then I got some everything ciabatta rolls so I can make sandwiches. I got some black pepper, some jalapeno sauce. I got some Virginia peanuts, some applesauce, the fig butter, which I told you about, some pear halves. And this is some vegan kale cashew basil pesto, so I might try that. And then I got some soy creamer and some carrots. And we already have plenty of veggies that I got from Safeway. So I'm gonna show you the Korean items as well. I'm show you this, but I'm gonna make a deli sandwich with the ciabatta an assortment of this meat, some fig jelly, mayo, some vegan cheese, and arugula. All right, so from the Korean market, I got the spicy rice cakes. It kind of got shaken up in the car, but it's so good. You know those little rice cake rolls? I got some sushi, some mung bean pancakes, some red beans, and rice, some seasoned cucumber, some rice cakes, some seasoned bean sprouts, some dried shrimp because I'm gonna make a gumbo. If you add some of these, I'm gonna make like a gumbo type of uh, stew. If you add some dried shrimp to the mix, it gives the best flavor ever. I got some kimchi, I got some black garlic sauce, some hot chili oil, some Korean barbecue sauce. And for the meats, I got chicken wings, pork belly, um, short ribs, some beef short ribs, I got some red bean, a little mochi. I got this little sweet assortment. I have no idea what it is, but it looks super good. I got this one, like little mochi balls with the caramel sauce. I got this salad. I got this for making like a soup, really thin beef, which you can make in, in your soup uh, with your buckwheat noodles. I got this little soup. I got this little uh, strawberry drink for the kids. I got some mushrooms. I get this style on this style. So my husband loves mushrooms. I got some sliced ribeye, some more chicken wings. I like to fry my chicken wings in cornstarch. They're super good. I got some salmon uh, and I got some shrimp. Oh, and some miso paste and green onions. So that's everything from the Korean store. It was kind of expensive. It was $193, but I got some really good delicacies. And rice, got some chili oil, the sushi, mung bean cake the fish cake, the pickled green sprouts, the rice rolls, and the pickled cucumber. I didn't add any kimchi because I'm not really a fan of kimchi. My husband loves it, but. So anyways, yeah. So my meatless lunch and for dinner, I'm gonna make like a Asian type of gumbo. Okay guys, so we're gonna run to the mall and um, go to Michael's. You see the baby in the back. He is like high maintenance. Like I have all these grandiose ideas and plans. Hard to get them done. Very hard, guys. Um, I really want to use the rest of my clay to pull. So like cost a million dollars. You know when you have makeup that's like stuck in the bottom of the barrel and you want to like dig it out with something so then you don't want to get your hands all dirty? I'm just doing it like they do. Couple spots, the only problem is these beauty blenders don't really get in the, but you need a small one. You okay? You're okay. Really not spending money and I really, really need to work on that because, you know, it's a problem. Spending too much. 
you know? It's American struggle, right? Here, take it passy. Come on, baby. Oh, you okay? Mama's here. Mama's right here. He's been pooped in like four days. And, um, I don't know. I really don't know. My husband always laughs when I put this on. He's like, he hates makeup, which is kind of nice. It would suck to have a partner that wants you to wear makeup all the time, right? Uh, but I suck at doing makeup, so that's probably why he hates it. If I was better at it, he might probably appreciate it more. But anyways, um, I got a little Sephora gift card. Bands. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the bands back. Let me show you. Cause they're like a size too big. And I already have big feet, and I worry that my feet will look even bigger. Basically, they're white, but they have a, a subtle checker pattern. So I probably will exchange them. Yeah, I'm the right size. So do you want to come with me or no? Or do you want to stay home? I do, but I don't I can't really wear clothes. Clothes because I think I'm going to get period for like one month. Do you have any dark sweats? I do. Oh, I do. oh don't cry me, baby. I love you. Okay guys, remember I said I was going to make a video about what the 8th baby did to me? Well, it gave me a FUPA, F-U-P-A, which stands for a fat upper pubic area. It really did. So I bought these paper bag fleece sweatpants from Hollister and I also bought them in black and gray and they're super cute. I love the top detail, the ruching. So, I'm putting a little chili oil on top of the mayo section. I have my meats, my arugula, my strange soy-based cheese, and I have my fig jelly over there. Inside, I put the, the fig butter. Then we're gonna put the meats. This is probably too much meat, so I won't use all of it. Put the arugula and the strange cheese. I don't know if I'm gonna like this soy-based cheese okay i'm gonna end the vlog here but here's a sandwich it is so good it's spicy it's a little sweet and here's my puff pink planner and i'll see you guys in the next video in the next video i'll be doing a dining room makeover